Hey, this is Always Never, and this is our breakdown of our music video, Wylan. Uh, little intro. This video was shot by Kids Studio. Before we made our first music video, which was this one, we had only ever been just musicians online kind of thing. We'd never done any videos or visuals. This was like the first time that we'd really experienced something beyond music. And after this video came out and it had such a success, it really added so much value to, to what we were doing. And it was a, a huge moment for us. This was our first ever music video that we did. So this was like a big learning experience on uh, how these things go. So we had no idea what to expect when we showed up. And then when we got there, there was like all this set design and everything and going through all of that and experiencing it. we just like had this, you know, high appreciation for making music videos and it really excited us for like the days after. So even though this was the first scene in the music video, it was actually the last scene that we shot. I think at this point it was like maybe two or three in the morning. We shot this in like a, it was like a dusty back lot in Toronto kind of thing where it was just sort of this, this abandoned open field. The fog is actually, was done on site. There was a, a guy running back and forth to fill it up and make it feel like this sort of like run like Mars kind of thing. When I started making the instrumental for Wyland, I wanted to make something really cinematic. Everybody always asked me about like the, the big synth bass at the beginning and stuff, and that's like part of our signature sound. I remember recording this song. It was really easy, and you, you can always tell that it's a good song when, when it is easy. The whole thing kind of came together in a few hours. I sent Dean what I'd recorded, and you know, we just kind of figured that the song felt done to us. And so we just kind of moved on to the next song, not really realizing at the time that we had such a great song in our hands. I don't think I slept too much before this video. I was both like anxious and excited because I knew it was gonna be like an awesome day. Um, but yeah, I, I didn't really sleep much. And then obviously the next day was just like when we shot it, it was a long day too. It's usually pretty hard to like sleep the night before like a, like a big project like this, like a, especially being our, our first music video, we just didn't know what to expect when we were going in there and we wanted to make sure that we just did everything to the best that we could. A few days before we shot this video, we did some styling for like what we would be wearing. And you know, I'm glad I was wearing what I was wearing because it was a really, really hot day. But one of the other options that they were really pushing was this big furry jacket. And it looked really cool, but I would have been dead for sure. Car, I believe was uh, it was a Toyota Supra. I don't exactly know what the year was, but I think it may have been an '86. But I don't quote me on that. Yeah, um, and even by the end of the video, like the car was already like fried, basically, because it was uh, it was so like authentically old. It just worked enough to shoot the video, but at the very end, um, when we were shooting the last uh, car scene, um, smoke started coming out of the engine, and we just all kind of ran. Through the experience of making this video, the most fascinating thing, I guess, was how much really goes into making a music video. And this music video is five minutes and 20 seconds long, um, but you spend like a whole day and night making the video and it's very stressful. There's a lot of things that have to come together um, just to get packed into this one video. This video had a pretty big crew. I think it was like 20 plus people. It was, uh, it was a big crew and like it was, for our first music video, that was um, that was pretty crazy to us. It felt like a movie set almost when we were doing this. Aside from the car scene outside, everything was shot in the same place. So the club scene and like the scene of the girl stabbing me, that was all in the same spot. It was just kind of rejigged to you know make it look like a club or make it look like a bedroom or whatever. Man, I was getting stabbed. Where where were you? I was literally right behind you over there. Um, I remember I was watching this like just offset kind of here and um, when Pat was getting stabbed, like there's this blood like getting like dumped all over her face kind of thing as she was stabbing you. There was just blood everywhere and it was like, they, I think they only had like one shot to do it because it was so messy kind of thing. And I think she had to shower like immediately after because yeah. she was just covered in this like, in all this blood. So for this last scene, like on the outro, 
Originally, there was no sound for, for that part, and it was kind of like an outro that's like apart from the song. I ended up designing the whole outro. You hear the air, you hear the, the car, and like I wanted to show off this song at the time that wasn't out yet, which was called Canadian Dubai. And we wanted it to sound like it was like playing in the car. So I spent like a couple of days kind of manipulating this. So it felt like you were in this like atmosphere. The car was like playing this like unreleased song kind of thing, and then like peeling away. Um, so this was actually purely just sound design. There was no actual recordings like on site. While it became such a, an impactful song to our career and it meant so much to us and so much to our fans that we decided to make a Wylan part two. That came out on our recent album, Shadows in My Home. That was our breakdown for our music video, Wylan. Thanks so much for watching. And if you want to check out the original video, the link is in the description below. And also check out Wylan part two while you're at it. Peace. We're gonna do that again. It's pretty good though. Yeah.